I'm going to leave timestamps in the description so you can skip around. Let's go. Okay, the first thing you want to do before you do anything is power on your PS4 and you want to turn off HDCP. So to do that, we're going to go to the settings. We'll just scroll all the way down here to system and you just want to make sure that this box is unchecked, the enable HDCP. So make sure that's unchecked. It will save you headache in the future here. When you buy your HD60S Plus, it should have come with three things. The capture card itself, an HDMI cable, and a USB to C 3.0 cable. All right, let's grab our HD60 Plus and let's focus on the side that says in. We're just gonna go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable. And then we're gonna plug the other end of that cable right into the HDMI port on the PS4 or your console. And now the next step I did is I'm gonna plug in the USB to C into the slot right there. And then I'm gonna plug in that USB to C into a USB 3.0 slot. Make sure it's a 3.0, like so. And then we're gonna to go to the side of the Elgato that says out. And we're gonna plug in that HDMI cable in like so. And this one goes out to our TV or monitor. Now that we have physically installed the hardware, let's fire up the computer. We gotta go to Elgato's website and download their utility. Okay, so here we are on Elgato's website and it's pretty straightforward. You just wanna see right here, select your product. I'm on Windows right now. And you can see right there, the 4K capture utility is what we need. And just to verify that, you can see right underneath here, it's compatible with, and then the list of devices, which the HD60S Plus is compatible. So you need to download this and then install it. All right, I hopefully your installation went okay. You can see right there the 4K capture utility. We are now going to click on it. All right, and if it installed correctly, you should get this window. But you can see the Elgato window, it says no signal. That's because we have not turned on the PS4 yet. But before I do that, or we do that, why don't we go up to the top right hand corner, click on preferences and this is what I did to hopefully save you any headaches. You see the general tab? I did nothing with that. I did make sure it was at 1080p by 60 frames per second. You can see the device. It only gives you one option for me, the HD60S Plus. The picture I haven't messed with yet. Recording, I did hit, went ahead and tweaked it to record where I wanted to if I'm using this software. Now, the one thing on the recording tab, just in case, is this enable flashback recording. I just went ahead and unchecked it. Even though we're not using this software, we're gonna be using OBS. Just trust me, keep it unchecked because it might mess things up. And of course you can go through the mic. You can see I have my Turtle Beach headphones on right there. So that's good to go. Let's go ahead and fire up the PS4 and see if it comes on. I just powered it on. All right, so now we see right here that we did correctly install the hardware. We downloaded and installed the 4K utility correctly that this particular recording software will work. But let's go ahead and go over to OBS and get that set up. So I just want to reiterate that we installed all the hardware correctly and that this 4K utility from Elgato, it kind of just verifies that everything works from the PS4 going through my computer system and actually being able to see it on my computer monitor and the gaming monitor. All right, you can see right here, I do have OBS open and the PS4 is powered on, but we can't see anything. So we need to create a scene and some sources. So we're gonna go down to the scenes box on the bottom left. We're gonna add a scene. I'm gonna go ahead and call mine, let's see, PS4 Pro only. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now we gotta to come to the sources box. I'm gonna right click and we're gonna add a video capture device. Click on it. I'm going to call it the PS4 Pro screen. I'm going to create it. 
And then under device here, you want to click on Game Capture HD 60 S Plus. I'm going to click on it. And there you go. You can see that the PS4 screen is populated. But this is very important. We're going to scroll down here and you can see the audio output mode. It's default to capture audio only. This frustrated me because I had I didn't know about it. So you want to click on that and you want to click on output desktop audio direct sound so click on it click ok and there you go i'm having it go through my external speakers let me put my lava mic up to it you can hear the sound so that's very important to click that setting so now i game with some turtle beach headphones i'm going to go ahead and add some audio input so the audio input capture, I'm going to go ahead and add existing my Turtle Beach mic. And then that one's good to go. But then also I like to create another scene. I call it the PS4 Pro with my Canon M50. So I'm going to do that. Again, I'm going to add a video capture device. It's existing because we just made it, the PS4 Pro screen. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add another video capture device, my Canon M50. And hopefully it captures me okay there. So I have my camera and then I have to add an audio input my Turtle Beach microphone. And there you go. I'm ready to, to record my gameplay on my PS4 Pro and I'm ready to stream my gameplay on my PS4 Pro. I wanna thank you for watching. I'm just your everyday average user. I'm learning as I go, so I hope this helps you. And for all the folks that watch this video who are more gurus than I am, please leave those comments down in the comment sections down below. I would love to hear from you, and I think the community would as well, in order to dial in uh, the HD60S Plus for your computer system, your PS4, PS5, whatever console you're using. I'm going to see you in the next video, folks. See you later. Here's Garland. Offensive board. Oh! oh. Had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. That's a three yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight.